We discussed in part one that freezing and cooling foods is the removal of heat by placing food in a cold temperature environment for a period of time. If the time and temperature are appropriate, the food will be cooled or frozen as desired. If you missed part one, we encourage you to go back and watch that episode before continuing. So, why would you use liquid nitrogen in order to create the cold environment in a cooler or freezer? While there are many combinations of time and temperature that will freeze or chill foods, only by using liquid nitrogen are you able to realize several specific benefits stemming directly from the very cold temperature. I like to categorize the benefits for using liquid nitrogen in food processing into two buckets, quality and operations. In this part, we'll outline the operations benefits. In part two, we reviewed the quality benefits. The operations benefits are from the processor's point of view versus from the consumer's point of view for the quality benefits. This is you in your facility. Within operations, the benefits to using liquid nitrogen for cooling and freezing are increased throughput, yield, footprint, and flexibility. We will discuss each of these in turn. Let's say that you're having a party on Saturday evening. You get home from work on Friday and you start collecting ice from your ice maker. If your freezer operates at zero degrees, maybe you can make a batch of ice in two hours. By Saturday, you've collected some quantity of ice. If, on the other hand, your freezer operated at liquid nitrogen temperatures, like 150 degrees below zero, you could make a batch of ice in a matter of minutes. By Saturday, you would have collected substantially more ice than the previous example. If you are constantly waiting on your pizzas, burritos, or entrees, for example, to finish freezing, you will recognize the importance of freezing quickly in order to increase throughput. So, our friends' time and temperature are helping us out again. By reducing the temperature, we reduce the time required and increase throughput. Increased cooling or freezing throughput could remove a bottleneck. This could be done either by supplementing an existing system or completely replacing an existing system. Implementing a liquid nitrogen system can be a low cost way to increase a line's production rate. Let's say that my mother's very accurate cookie making always makes exactly 36 cookies. Well, if I was in the house when she was making cookies, she could never get more than 32. Why? Because I was sneaking in and eating the dough. She had a yield problem. In a food processing plant, yield problems come in the form of fines, dehydration, and waste, not necessarily with people snacking on your product. Generally speaking, warm or hot foods are prone to more breaking. Chill them or freeze them and they get firmer and easier to handle, chop, cut, or slice, thereby reducing fines. Freezing or cooling quickly, as we discussed in part two, prevents dehydration as well. Dehydrated products weigh less, requiring more in the package to make weight. Because liquid nitrogen is so cold, these cooling and freezing systems are small and can be installed just about anywhere. Again, this can be done in order to supplement something that you are already doing or wholesale replacement of systems or new installations. The financial benefits are found because the cost of waste can be pretty high. While your product is only losing water, that water carries the full product value with every drop. The next operations benefit to using liquid nitrogen systems is footprint. Why is footprint a problem? Well, you want a TV like this, but you live here. We are all trying to do more with less, even in our food plants. Expanding the facility is costly and difficult to justify. Equipment that uses liquid nitrogen can be smaller than other systems because the horsepower behind liquid nitrogen is so great. Freezing or cooling quickly does not require large machinery. So, liquid nitrogen solutions are very small relative to other options. They can be fit just about anywhere. Financially, liquid nitrogen solutions are great because they free up real estate within the plant for other production and or they allow for increased production within the existing space. Smaller equipment means less to clean and maintain as well. The flexibility of liquid nitrogen systems stems from its extraordinary cold, 320 degrees below zero. This allows liquid nitrogen systems to operate across a broad range of temperatures from simply cool to hundreds of degrees below zero. You are able to ramp production up and down. The liquid nitrogen use simply follows the pattern. You can freeze to order. Smaller equipment makes this much easier. Different product sizes work well by simply making the equipment a bit colder or using a bit more nitrogen. A broad range of products are possible. Again, the turndown of liquid nitrogen allows for this. Freeze thin crust pizzas and follow with deep dish pizzas through the same tunnel. Freeze taquitos followed by grande burritos through the same freezer. Smaller equipment also means that the equipment is much more mobile and more easily relocated than other solutions, allowing for daily facility flexibility. 
Now we know that the extremely cold temperature of liquid nitrogen freezes foods in a very short period of time for better operations by increasing throughput, improving yield, reducing footprint, and increasing flexibility. If you have not yet watched part one, time and temperature, or part two, quality, we encourage you to do so soon. Thank you.